Now, communication isn't just about the way we speak. It's also about how you present yourself through body language. Whether we're talking about your gestures, your expressions, your posture, you can convey powerful messages and greatly influence how other people perceive you. When you master and utilize the arts of body language, you can skillfully create positive impressions. And that's what I want to help you with on today's video. On today's video, we're going to explore nine body language tricks that if you master them, you can communicate effectively and present confidently in a wide range of situations. Now, if you're new here, welcome Jeff, your style OG. On this channel, we discuss various men's lifestyle topics such as style, grooming, and dating every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday at 4 p.m. Eastern. I invite you to subscribe, tap the notification bell, and join us. And to my returning friends like Chris Johnson, salute. Now, first up on the list of nine body language tricks every guy should know, you want to have upright yet relaxed posture. Now, most of us have heard you want to have good posture. Head up, chest out, shoulders back. And yes, these are all great basic tenets, but it goes a little more deeper than that. You want to have good posture, but you don't want to look like you're trying too hard. You don't want to be stiff. You don't want to come off as too rigid. To be sure of that, make sure your hands are hanging down naturally at your side. You do not lock your knees, and most of the weight is on the balls of your feet. This way you can have strong, powerful posture, but you're not looking like you're trying too hard. A key body language trick, upright but relaxed posture. Now along with good posture, you want to communicate to people non-verbally that you're welcoming, engaging, and friendly. You do this by having open body language. When you have open body language, it lets people know you're approachable. You're open to engaging. How do you do this? First of all, you want to make sure you're orienting your body to the person or people you're engaging with. Next up, make sure neither your arms or your legs are crossed. You also want to make sure you keep your hands out of your pockets. This communicates to other people that you're relaxed and open to conversation. When you have open body language, people are much more likely to approach you and be open to you approaching them. When you have closed body language with your arms crossed, legs crossed, hands in your pockets, it looks like you're uninviting, uninterested, lacking in confidence, and you also might come off as angry. Want to have more positive interactions? Make sure you have open body language. Next up is a body language trick I've been using for years that's super effective. You want to get in the habit of mirroring people. Mirroring is when two people share similar body language, vocal tone, and diction. When you mirror other people, you come off as more likable and more persuasive. When you mirror the other person's body language, it subconsciously creates a bond and encourages positive social interaction. Start by observing the other person's body language. If they lean in, you lean in. When they smile, you smile. When they nod, you nod. When you mirror the other person's body language, it makes them feel comfortable. It communicates confirmation, good vibes, and empathy. Now, of course, not only do people notice your body language, they notice how you look. And I'm sure most of us want to look as handsome as possible. How do you do that? By having a daily skincare routine. Like the one I've been using for the last four or five years every day from today's video sponsor, Teej Hanley. Teej Hanley is a skincare system that was designed specifically for us men. It's simple, affordable, and effective. They send exactly what you need right to your front door every 30 days for an effective daily skincare routine. In your Teej Hanley box, for daily use, you have the wash. You wash your face both in the morning and in the evening. And after washing your face, in the morning you apply AM moisturizer, in the evening, your PM moisturizer. And one of the best products in your Teej Hanley box is the facial scrub. The facial scrub allows you to exfoliate your skin which is removing the dead skin cells that can accumulate on the top layer of your skin. Now for us OGs in your box, you get a couple age-defying products. First you have the Skin Tightening Serum. This helps firm and tighten up your skin. And then you have the eye cream. The eye cream helps with fine lines, wrinkles, and puffiness around the eyes. If you wanna have healthier, fresher looking skin, you wanna try Teej Hanley. Now, not only did Teej Hanley sponsor today's video, they've got a special offer for the Stylo G family. When you hit that link in the description and get started with Teej Hanley, not only will you get 30% off your first box, also will get a free gift. This excellent face towel and this dot kit, an excellent way to store and travel with your toiletry. So if you're looking to get started with a skincare system that was made specifically for us guys, that's simple, affordable, and effective, make sure you hit that link in the description and get started with Teej Hanley today. Now, next up is a body language tip about what not to do. 
You want to try your best to avoid fidgeting and keep your hands away from your face. When you avoid fidgeting and keep your hands away from your face, it conveys self-confidence and self-assurance. It shows that you're comfortable and in control of the situation. On the other hand, if you do a bunch of fidgeting, you come across as nervous, unsure of yourself. And one of the worst things about having your hands in front of your face, people can't see your facial expressions. Your facial expressions are very important. They convey sincerity, emotions, and engagement. Furthermore, a bunch of fidgeting actually can distract people from what you're saying. Pay more attention to your body movements. So one of the best body language tricks, avoid fidgeting, keep your hands from in front of your face. This will help you present in a more composed and focused way. Now next up is a body language tip we probably all have heard over and over. You want to make sure you maintain eye contact. Now I 100% agree about that, but it's more subtle than that. Yes, you want to maintain eye contact, but you don't want to stare into the person's soul. One of the best ways to make sure you're not doing that, use the triangle technique. When you get eye contact with a person, first focus on one eye, then their other eye, then their mouth. This allows you to have a natural connection while avoiding uncomfortable eye contact. You also want to try to make sure you have a soft gaze. Don't stare so harshly. You want to try to relax your eyes and have them be warm and inviting. Also want to make sure throughout the conversation, you break eye contact from time to time. This also helps you avoid staring into their soul. From time to time, you want to briefly look down, look away, especially while you're pausing to gather your thoughts. This is a natural way to engage in other people, maintain eye contact, but do it in a comfortable way. Another great way to use body language to your advantage is about how you speak to a person, not what you're saying. What do I mean by that? You want to use your voice effectively. You do this by varying the tone and pitch of your voice. For example, I'm trying to give you information. I'm trying to speak and convey to you that I know what I'm talking about. So I'm using a low authoritative tone, pacing myself and I'm speaking in a deeper register. This is how you project confidence and authority. When you're using your voice, you want to adjust the tone and the pitch to fit the mood of the conversation. A monotonous tone all the time can be disengaging and uninteresting. You want to make sure your voice is clear, audible, and appropriately projected. Speak loud enough for the people or persons you're talking to, but avoid shouting or speaking too softly. Adjust your voice according to the context. You also want to make sure you vary the pace of your talk. You want to most of the time speak at a moderate pace. Speeding too quickly makes people think you're nervous and not understand you. Additionally, you want to strategically use pauses to let people take in what you've been saying, giving the listener a chance to process the information and anticipate what you're going to say next. Now, next up is a body language tip most of us have definitely been told, especially as younger men. You want to make sure you control your handshake. Now, the importance of a handshake is probably the first physical contact you will have with another person in a professional or social setting. Your handshake can leave a lasting impression, whether good or bad. A firm handshake conveys self-assurance, confidence, and that you're comfortable in the social situation you find yourself in. A firm handshake, especially in professional situations, is often associated with confidence, competence, and professionalism. It leaves the impression that you're reliable and you take the social interaction seriously. When you offer a firm but yet not overpowering grip, it leaves the impression that you are trustworthy, genuine, and interested in the other person. Speaking of genuine, it's very important when it comes to body language to have a genuine smile. A genuine smile is a very effective body language tool because it creates a positive range of emotions and a favorable impression and a genuine smile instantly makes you more friendly, approachable, and warm. People are much more likely to feel comfortable engaging with and initiating conversations with people that have a genuine smile. When you have a genuine smile, you radiate positive energy and create a comfortable, pleasant environment around you, inviting other people in. When you have a genuine smile, it affects your approachability. It makes people feel more comfortable coming up to you. And it sends a message that you're self-confident and comfortable not nervous, not anxious. Having a genuine smile makes other people much more likely to engage with you and trust your presence. Now, without a doubt in your social interactions, you wanna make sure you relax and breathe effectively. This is an essential body language technique because it affects your overall demeanor and the nonverbal signals that you're giving off. 
When you're relaxed, it reflects in your body language. Your movements are much more fluid, your posture is much more natural, and your expressions are much more composed. This projects an image of stability, confidence, self-assurance, and you're seen as much more approachable, and it affects the demeanor of those around you. When you're relaxed and composed, so are others. It can enhance your focus and your presence in the moment, allowing you to communicate much more positively and effectively with those around you. Remember to relax and breathe.